a nice shot from Gavaskar. And brings up a boundary for him. So that'll give him a lot of confidence. To drive that help him to keep the ball on the ground, particularly the straight drive. Another no ball. It wasn't a no ball. But uh, four runs to Gavaskar, and he really is starting to uh, gain in confidence. Yes, he's got a very sh shrewd cricketing brain and a lot of experience. He will have gone through patches before in his career where things haven't worked out well. And uh, Sonny really thrashing away at anything that's outside off stump. And the Australian bowlers have really got to get right on the stumps. And that's away through past point and it looks as though it'll get to the fence. Yes, it will. So that's yet another boundary to Sunil Gavaskar. And it really is proving to be India's day. Richie Benner has described the debacle that occurred in Australia's first innings today when Australia lost one, uh, lost six wickets in scoring 133 runs. And now we see India bursting away to a fine start. shot now McDermott uh, should be learning from this he should be learning that you don't bowl on uh, Gavaskar's pads you probably don't bowl on the pads of any batsman but particularly one as strong in that area as uh, the former Indian captain beautiful player well bowled a third maiden there from Ray Bright and some very good bowling Gavaskar concentrating so hard that he didn't even know it was Stumps. Gone back to uh, his position. So India, 1 for 97, chasing Australia's 381. Gavaskar is 39, not out. Now we have a, a minor sensation here at the Adelaide Oval. And Ian Chappell is in the commentary box with Frank Tyson. Thanks very much, Richie, and good morning all. Yes, Chetan Sharma, the night watchman, is out there. But at the other end, no Sunil Gavaskar. So Gavaskar hasn't made it to the crease this morning. So he's retired hurt 39. But we believe that's the one that uh, is giving him the problem. Well, they've got rid of uh, Mahindra Amanath for 37 with a score of 247. But now... On comes a man who has 39 against his name, Suno Gavaskar, who retired hurt after being struck by Craig McDermott, the man he'll be facing now. No third man, so that's quite a safe shot. Simply flashed away over that slip and gully area. But uh, India moving along relatively smoothly towards the Australian first innings total and there's four more doesn't do to get off line or off length for this little man Gavaskar I see he's got also that uh, added incentive getting his 31st test hundred and that's four more he moves to the devil's number 87 I doubt that that'd be too much of a problem And uh, there it is, he's picked it off his toes, beautifully on the onside, and that's rather appropriate that he should bring up his century with a shot that he plays so well and so often. Well, you're watching uh, history being made, so Donald Bradman wasn't here yesterday to watch the man that surpassed his 29 Test Match 100s. It's now 31 Test Match 100s to Sonny Gavaskar. He's been there for a long time, 356 minutes yesterday. Retired hurt on 39 at the end of the second night. And there it is. A magical moment. Well, that's beautiful shot again. He loves it in that area. Just short of a length. And uh, the face of the bat closed. Lovely timing. And tremendous, uh, tremendous force and placement behind that lovely shot. Well, again, McDermott straying down the leg side and... I've lost count of the number of times that Sonal Gavaskar has put the ball away in this manner through the mid-wicket area. 
He's a master of placement. That's a good shot from Gavaskar. Beautiful placement. And now that Matthews has dived, it's certain to get to the boundary. Very well played uh, cover drive. Oh, Gavaskar, he's got all the shots. That one just in the right spot. Hit it on the up. It's a man confident. 19 short at the moment. And Gavaskar decides to go over the top quite safely against uh, Greg Matthews with no one at deep mid wicket. And he creeps four runs closer. And just five runs away from a century and a half. One of the few times that we've seen him hit the ball in the air. Saw him cut one early on on uh, Saturday evening. But on that occasion, a perfectly safe shot. And that's beautifully placed. Matthews slightly over pitching and the ball drifting away on the offside. And that absolutely wraps into the uh, to the advertising hoarding there. Taking Gavaskar to 149. That was a beautiful shot by the little Indian opener. A little bit of width there. He has a cross there with that front foot. And that was a magnificent shot. Shots on both sides of the wicket. 15 boundaries now. And there's the 150. Magnificent performance from the former Indian captain and the highest run getter ever in Test cricket. His first 150 in a Test match in Australia. And when he brought up his 100, his imaginary shot immediately after getting that 100 was a forward defensive prod as he did just again then. That's a good shot. Beautiful shot there from Gavaskar. The placement was absolutely perfect. And the 500 comes up for India in fine style. The beautiful shot by Gavaskar. Will he make it 9,000? There it is. That's his 9,000th run. The field is set back. The Australians uh, may not have been too concerned with the statistic, but a lot of people around this ground know because he's getting a round of applause. First man in history to reach 9,000 runs. Actually, he was the first to reach 8,115 as well. Hooks to Shivral Yadav. And that could be it. The old-fashioned full toss. So often a successful delivery. Arthur Maley used to say that. The Indian innings is all over for 520. And Gavaskar's not out for 166. A great innings by a truly great player. A legend in his own lifetime, Sonny Gavaskar.